Welcome to a Riemann sum example with the midpoint rule. Uh, so the midpoint rule says we use the midpoint of the rectangle uh, to determine height. So we use the midpoint of the rectangle to determine height. Uh, so, again, we are looking at the definite integral from 1 to 3 of x squared minus 2 dx, and this time we're using the midpoint rule, still working with n rectangles. Um, so, again, uh, we're going from 1 to 3. We want to split this into a bunch of rectangles. Okay, we're splitting this into a bunch of sub-intervals. And then our heights will be based off the midpoints wherever the value falls. So our first rectangle oh, we'll do our, our width first. So our total width again is 3 minus 1 or 2. And we're going to split that over n rectangles. And so we have two over n. So our first rectangle we are looking at uh, it goes from x equals one to x equals one plus two over n. The midpoint will be x equals one plus one over n. Uh, from here, we can do that our height, therefore, is uh, f of 1 plus uh, 1 over n, or uh, 1 plus 1 over n squared minus 2. Our width is that 2 over n. So our area will be two over n times one plus one over n squared minus two. Uh, if we do our ith rectangle, we'll go from x equals one plus i minus one times two over n to uh, x equals one uh, plus i times two over n. The midpoint uh, will be uh, one over n either more than the first x or one over n less than the second x. Um, so that's completely up to you what you want to use. Um, our midpoint will be at x equals one plus i times two over n, and then just minus a copy of one over n would work. Or um, you can do various versions of the midpoint, but this works as well. Um, so we then have a height of uh, f of uh, 
I'm going to write this as one minus one over n uh, plus i times two over n, otherwise known as uh, one minus one over n plus i times two over n, all things squared minus two. Uh, from here, we have the area of our ith rectangle would be that width two over n times one minus one over n plus i times two over n, uh, this piece squared minus two. Uh, and so we wind up getting that our definite integral can be approximated. We have the definite integral from one to three of x squared minus two dx. Sorry about that if you heard my daughter screaming. Uh, so again, we want to do our approximation of the definite integral uh, from one to three of x squared minus two times dx. Uh, and this we would do our summation, sorry, approximate, our summation from i equals one to m of, we have two over m times one minus one over m plus i times two over n, that whole thing squared, minus two. Uh, if we wanted, we could rewrite this with a two over n out front. Then we have a summation from i equals one to n of one minus one over n plus i times two over n squared minus two. Uh, I am not going to work this to the end this time around. Uh, it should be pretty similar to the ones we've already seen. Uh, and instead, um, let's just go ahead and jump to our general formula. So the general formula if we wish to approximate a definite integral from a to b of f of x dx uh, with Riemann sum. Uh, using uh, the midpoint rule. and rectangles. Then uh, we are looking at, um, we have a total width of B minus A, then split over N rectangles. We are looking at b minus a over n. Again, our ith rectangle. We from x equals a plus uh, i minus one times b minus a over n to x equals a plus i times b minus a over n. The midpoint will be at x equals a plus i times b minus a over n. Uh, and then minus half of that, so minus b minus a over 2n. So basically, we could have used either the beginning of the rectangle or the end of the rectangle, and we just want to get ourselves through half of the width instead of the whole width. Um, you also could write this as 
uh, 2i minus 1 um, times b minus a over m if we combine like terms. So this is technically a plus uh, 2i minus 1 uh, times b minus a over 2n. So we have our height would be f of a plus 2i minus 1 times b minus a over 2n. So our area of our i rectangle would be b minus a over n times f of a plus 2i minus 1 times b minus a over 2n. And so we wind up getting that our definite integral from a to b of f of x dx is approximately the summation from i equals 1 to n of b minus a over n times f of a plus 2i minus 1 times b minus a over 2n. Or you could pull the b minus a over n out front. You know i was involved, it's a constant, we can pull it out front. Uh, times the summation from i equals 1 to n of f of a plus 2i minus 1 times b minus a over 2n. All of that was inside the function f. Um, so again, this is our formula using the midpoint rule of the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx. This gives us an approximation for that definite integral.